Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. This video is to cover the 2021-2022 sophomore pre-registration for the class of 2024. My name is Tara Sanchez. I am the 9th and 10th grade academic counselor here at Fort Stockton High School. Our agenda for this video will cover credits, graduation requirements, endorsements, offered courses at Fort Stockton High School, Texas Scholars, Google Classroom pre-registration form, and pre-registration digital signature. Let's begin with credits. What is a credit? Credit is awarded for each high school course a student earns a grade 70 or better and meets attendance requirements for that semester. So let's look at Spanish 1. First semester, a student earns an 83, therefore the student will earn a credit of one half of a credit. Now, a student is awarded half a credit for that semester in Spanish 1 at the end of December, or the semester, which is during December. And the student will not need to take first semester of Spanish 1 again. Will I earn the credit? So another example is English 1. First semester, a student earns a 65. Second semester, it's a 70. So that's wonderful news. And then the average comes in at a 68. Unfortunately, only the half credit for second semester is earned. Let's look at another example, Algebra 1. The student earned a 67 for first semester, and then the student earned a 73. The yearly average becomes a 70. Wonderful news. We have one credit earned for the full year for Algebra 1. Therefore, Algebra 1 will not need to be retaken. However, English 1 first semester, the student will have to retake the first semester because only half a credit was earned. Graduation requirements. Let's look at this chart right here on the left-hand side showing us that to become a sophomore next year, a student will have to have earned six credits or more. And then again, as a junior, 13, and a senior, 18 or more. It is very important to understand that to be classified as a sophomore, junior, and senior is not the number of years attended at high school, nor is it birthdays or age of students. Therefore, a student that is that has attended three years here at Fort Stockton High School to be a junior will have had to earn 13 or more credits to be classified as a junior. We don't just go by years. And so in addition to the credits that we go for classification, 26 specific state credits will need to be earned to graduate. In addition to the five end of course, EOC stands for end of course star exams. So let's look at the list for the five star exams. English 1, English 2, Algebra 1, Biology, and U.S. History will have to have been passed prior for, gra for graduation to occur, to earn all the requirements needed for graduation, let's say. Okay, so now let's look at the graduation requirements for House Bill 5. The Foundation, the Endorsement, and Distinguished Achievements. On the left-hand side is the foundation, and then the endorsements is number two, and then number three is the distinguished level of achievements. So let's look at the list right here. Four credits of English will have to have been earned, four credits of mathematics, four credits of science, three credits of social studies, in addition to our world geography for our, our freshmen that... Um, are currently in world geography right now, two credits of a world language or computer programming. Our world language that we offer here is Spanish, so it'd be two credits of Spanish, one credit of physical education. This falls under athletics, PE, or two years of band, one credit of a fine art, and half a credit of speech. 6.5 credits are in electives with your choice of an endorsement. Distinguished level of achievement includes everything on the left-hand side in addition to Algebra 2. What is an endorsement? 
An endorsement is earned when a student completes a coherent sequence of courses in a concentrated area of study. And that study can be picked from arts and humanity, business and industry, public service, STEM, or multidisciplinary. So now that we've covered foundation endorsements and distinguished achievements, let's look at acknowledgement. Number four, performance acknowledgement. Outstanding performance can be earned in one of the three areas. The first one, 12 credit hours and dual credit courses with a GPA 3.0 or higher. Two, three credits in the same language with average of 80 or higher. Or three, PSAT, ACT plan, SAT, or ACT scores. Another way to earn performance acknowledgement for graduation is to earn a nationally or internationally recognized business or industry certification or license. Now let's look at endorsements and offered courses at Fort Stockton High School. Number two, our endorsements that were mentioned earlier were the following arts and humanities, business and industry, public service, STEM, and multidisciplinary. For arts and humanities, we offer theater art, art, band, or choir, business and industry, agriculture, architecture and construction, information technology, hospitality and tourism, language arts, manufacturing, transportation, distribution, and logistics. In public service, we offer health science, human service, educational training, criminal justice. In the STEM program, we offer science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and then the multidisciplinary studies is select courses from a combination of two or more endorsement areas. Let's look at arts and humanities. An example for arts and humanities is band. Therefore, the student that chooses this endorsement will complete band one, band two, band three, and band four for the following grade levels. An example endorsement for business and industry is transportation, distribution, and logistics with small engines. A student that is interested in this endorsement will take small engines one 10th grade year, small engines two 11th grade year, and power systems 12th grade year. Let's look at an example for an endorsement in public service. The career pathway chosen for public service is nurse, nurse health science. So let's look at taking nutrition and wellness, our 10th grade year, 11th grade year would be health science and medical terminology, and then 12th grade year would be CNA along with anatomy and physiology for the science. And that is listed on the right-hand side. Our four-year plans were covered in our career pathway class. However, if that class was recently taken this semester and we need to finish up a career, I'm sorry, a four-year plan, that is okay. If a student that transferred in from a different high school was unable to take a career pathway class, that is okay. We just need to make sure that we follow this checklist up here on the top right-hand corner. We went over this list in one of the slides, but it's listed again in the four-year plan. So let's go over this. English will need four credits. Math will need four credits. Science, four credits. Social studies will be the three plus the one in multidisciplinary, so that's four credits. Foreign language, two credits. Fine art, one credit. Physical education, one credit. And speech, half a credit. And then the 4.5 and also the additional two or one credits for the endorsement area and electives. Again, this is on the top right hand corner, the checklist for graduation credits that are required in the state of Texas. The following slide is again used for the four year plans and these are the courses offered here at Fort Stockton High School. This sheet or this PDF is uploaded onto your Google classroom as well as a sheet is printed off for you in the counselor's office if you would like to look at a hard copy and um, also on our website. Texas Scholars. Texas Scholars program, you earn 
distinguished level of achievement, volunteer services performed locally, nonprofit, religious, or community service organization. And the dates are a little different. They run from April 1st through March 30th, and that's how we calculate for the school year. So we start early. Uh, right now it is April, so you would be working on next year's Texas Scholar. So let's look at this chart. Because April 1st has already happened, you're working for 10th grade 10 hours because you've already completed your five hours as a freshman. A total of 35 hours must be completed by senior year to receive recognition. Accumulated hours do not carry over to the next year. However, students will be recognized for extra hours earned. More information is available in the Fort Stockton High School Counselor's Office. Google Classroom and Pre-Registration Form. This is the pre-registration form for sophomore year. It is posted in Google Classroom along with the how-to video. It is important that you complete all yellow highlights and turn in to Google Classroom. The pre-registration digital signature. I'm going to go back one slide and address that this part right here can be the same from the second column in your four-year plan. For example, the four-year plan is completed. Therefore, 10th grade year, which is the second column, can be copied over to your pre-registration form, which is this one right here. And you can simply fill out your classes that you signed up for on your four-year plan for this pre-registration. This pre-registration form will be used for your classes next year. The four-year plan is a help as a guide to help you plan out your four years here at Fort Stockton High School. So the pre-registration digital signature, how do I sign digitally? Type your name in the box while logged into your student email account. Tips and reminders. Start planning for the future today. List options for after graduation. Begin Texas Scholar Hours now. Make your sophomore year productive and fun. And share pre-registration pre 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 form with your guardians. I appreciate your time and patience with this video. And thank you for watching.